Hey there, everybody, and welcome to a brand new LP. Now we're going to go way, way back into the lifespan of the PS2 to show off a fairly well-known survival horror title. As you can tell, we are going to be playing Fatal Frame 1, based on a true story, kind of. But we'll get into that later. For right now, we're going to go ahead and start a brand new game, and I'll see you after the cutscene. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. My big brother, he was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. So this is Himuro Mansion. search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist, and a man my brother was very indebted to, disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. The forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. So we are now in control of a brand new character. We're on the lookout, as they have said, for a Mr. Takamine. Before we get to that though, my ghost sense is tingling. Now, as you can probably tell in the lower right hand corner, the little sensor has lit up. And the color of it is kind of determinant of what kind of ghost we're looking for. In this case, the color is saying that this is a hidden ghost, and oh, I think we found it. You can tell by the viewfinder in the center. But we'll be going over that a bit more in depth after we leave the intro. For right now, though, we should probably keep a uh, an eye out for Mr. Takamine. It doesn't look like Himuro Mansion is in a very good state of upkeep. Actually, it seems like there's a pretty dangerous hole here right in the middle of the floor. As to what might have caused it, though, is a well, bit of a mystery right now. So we see a shiny object here on the ground. We'll go ahead and pick that up. Yeah, for right now, we are equipped with a camera. And as most cameras need, we are picking up film. Now, as we have picked up the film, it does go into a bit of an explanation about the usage of the camera. We are able to freely move about with the camera up. We can actually turn around quickly or use a particular button to turn a bit more quickly. 
and at times we can actually use the camera to get a better view of the world around us. As you can probably tell, we are kind of stuck in a Resident Evil fixed camera. But we'll see, it's kind of necessary later on to get a better view of what's going on around us. Also, this is a save point camera, but we're not going to have to use that for right now. I don't think we'll be staying here for too long. Hmm. Seems pretty deserted. No? But we have our first one chance ghost. There will be occasions in the game where ghosts will pop up for a one time chance to take a picture of them. They can honestly be kind of difficult, but I will be trying my best to make sure and get all of them. They're all actually pretty important to the storyline of the game. That particular one we saw just now... Well, we'll find out who that is soon enough. Again, we see that same figure we saw out in the hallway. Not actually sure if he's looking at us or if he can even see us. Before we head upstairs though, as you can probably tell by the indicating light at the bottom, there is another hidden ghost. This one is a little bit more difficult to find. The light may, might make you think it's a little bit outside, but it's actually hiding up here above the bookcase. While all these ghostly figures are well, pretty scary, none of them have actually posed any kind of a threat, which is well, pretty comforting. So it seems that our camera can not only just view ghosts, but can actually be used to harm ghosts that may be wanting to attack us. Now the combat is pretty simplistic, we just have to keep focused on the ghost and our mystical power will start to build up, and the more mystical power ha we have, the more damage we'll do. Also it mentions shutterbug moments, which I will get into in a little bit here as we actually get into combat proper. 
But as you'll be seeing, actually fighting ghosts can be a tad bit difficult. They will phase in and out of visibility. And they can actually phase through the floor and walls. So they can catch you by surprise quite easily. But by waiting for him to get as close as possible and building up our mystical power, he's easily enough defeated. I captured a ghost with this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. So with our knowledge that something dreadful might have happened to Mr. Takamine and knowing that there might be some, well, let's say fearsome ghosts waiting for us in this mansion, I think it's best to make our way out of here and hopefully maybe get some help from some priests. I'm I'm sure we just forgot to close it. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. Who are you? 